Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Abba Father. Good Abba Sunta Leprehendo Siena Mashai Abba. Makata da 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 ba sunta lina na mashai ta kadusi ya da bashaya. Mendele koto no mo sunta la brahande kosi ya da bashaya. Oh Father, bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. I bless you, Lord. You are holy. You are holy. There is none like you. In all the earth, there is none like you. Father in heaven, how I love you. I lift your name in all the earth. May your kingdom be established. In our praises, as your people, we declare your mighty word. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was the knees and knees to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who reigns forevermore. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who was the knees and knees to come blessed be the lord god almighty who reigns forevermore thank you jesus for this privilege this unique opportunity in your presence i do not take it for granted thank you abba father for who you are for who you have been to us, we give you all the praise, ancients of days. We glorify your name. We bless your name, King of glory. We give you all the praise and adoration because there is no one like you. You reign over principalities. You reign over human authorities. You reign over all the earth. You reign, Lord. You reign, Lord, and there is none like you. We give you all the praise, Abba Father. We give you all the glory, for you are glorious, and you are worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. You are the Lamb upon the throne. You are the Lamb upon the throne. Tasha Mendele Cotonomo Suprahandish Reda da 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 bashaya Le Cotonomo Sia da Bahaya. We give you all the praise, Jesus. You are the Lamb upon the throne. You are the Lamb upon the throne. E Cadaba Sunta Librandos E Cananama Sukatesha Baya Mendele Cotonomo Sia de Isha Reketeneme Supaya Dasha Recataya Mandele Cosiata. Rena na mashaya, zada da 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 basha, mekete ne ne mosia, rada da da. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. We give you the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be lifted. You are worthy to be exalted. Rekada ba ba mosia na mashaya, mandele koto 
What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. We join the elders and the angels to sing your praise this day. We join the elders and the angels to worship you. We say you are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Rekatadaba Sontai. We exalt your name, mighty God. We lift you high. So we lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. We lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. We lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh, Kabana Kosia da Bahai. We lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. So we lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. <laughs> oh, Father. What manner of God you are. So we lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hello, family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. God bless you. Mrs. Lidea, God bless you. You are welcome. Lioness of Judah, God bless you. You are welcome. Kim Oros, God bless you. You are welcome. I'm, I'm happy to have each and every one of you here today. I'm privileged. I'm blessed to be here with you. I've been a little down in my health, but um, glory to God. We are back stronger and better. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good, God is good, God is good, God is good, and his mercies endure it forever. God is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good, God is good, God is good, and his mercies endure it forever. He's a great God. He's a good father. You are a good, good father. Is who you are. Is who you are, is who you are, and I'm loved by you. Is who I am, is who I am, is who I am. You're a good, good father. Is who you are, is who you are, is who you are, and I'm loved by you. Is who I am, who I am. But he's a good, good father. Is who he is. Is who he is. I am a shire. Is who he is. And I'm loved by you. Kabana no shire. Why do I feel the joy of the Lord so strong today? I feel a kind of joy in my heart. I feel a kind of joy in my spirit. God is a good God. 
and his goodness is about to be revealed in the life of someone today. He is a good God. The reason why I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this happy in my spirit is because there is someone, I believe there is someone in this life session that God is about to touch you in a special way. There is someone in this life session, God is about to minister to you in a special way. There is someone in this life session, you are about to experience the hand of God. I pray that someone is you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will experience the hand of God upon your life like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. God began to speak to me even before I went to bed last night. He began to speak to me and he said, you will have more than what you ask for. More than what you ask for is coming. More than what you ask for is coming. More than what you ask for. Someone, oh, Kayabana Kosiana Mashaya, someone under the sound of my voice. The Lord is giving you more than you asked for. God is giving you more than you had anticipated. God is giving you more than you could ever think. Oh, the Bible says God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all you could ever ask or think of him according to the power that works in you someone you are about to experience it. That verse is about to come alive in your life. That verse is about to come to reality in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that even as I minister to your people, you will begin to touch them. Let your power be evident in their lives. Let their power, your power be evident in their household, wherever they are watching me. I pray, oh Lord, that as I minister, let your power be evident in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your power be evident in their household, in their businesses, in their place of work, even as we begin to minister right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless everyone that is joining, especially if this is the first time you're joining us. A special welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. Hallelujah. Please check to see if you're already subscribed to this channel. If not, kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live you're going to receive a notification god bless you as you do that in jesus name and please give the video a thumbs up share the live broadcast if you have not done that already please share the live broadcast give the video a thumbs up if you have not done that already god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you you know it is natural human tendency to want to look out for yourself it is natural human tendency to want to look out for yourself. You want to, to be sure that you're going to be okay. You want to be sure that, that you're going to have everything you need to have a good life. It is natural human tendency. It is natural human tendency to protect yourself to provide for yourself, to ensure that everything is working out well in your life. But yesterday, God began to minister to me. He told me there is a, there is a sure way of getting everything you want. There is a sure way of getting everything you have prayed for. There is a sure way. There is a sure way. There is a sure way. And what is that way? The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. Every other thing, every other thing, every other thing will be added unto you. When you begin to seek ye first the kingdom of God, when you put the things of God ahead of you, when you say it is God first before me, God becomes committed to ensuring that everything 
nothing you would ever need will be added because you become a kingdom ambassador you become a representative of god and you cannot be a representative of god when you are in lack you cannot be a representative of god when you are in want when you are still needing certain things so the surest way to get everything that you want is to seek ye first the kingdom of God. This is so strange. God began to speak to me in a very strange way. I have never seen this before. Whenever I look, I, 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 I read this or whenever I came across this Bible passage, I always thought of marriage. I thought of settlement. I thought of God restoring. But God used this differently this time around to minister to me. He led me to the book of Ruth. And for the first time, God opened my eyes to see something different I had never seen in the book of Ruth before. Now, the Bible says, there was famine in the land of Bethlehem, and because of the famine, Elimelech decided to relocate with his family temporarily to Moab. And he went with his wife <clears throat> and his two children, and they stayed in Moab. While in Moab, Boaz, uh, 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 Elimelech died, and later the two children died. Before the two children died, Malon and 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 is it Celion or something? They they got married to two to two different women, Opa and Ruth. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. I'm working out something for you. They got married to two different women. Now, when a woman gets married, she has a vision to have her own children, build her own family. Nobody gets married for pleasure. Many people get married because they want to form their own family. And so these people got married into the family of Elimelech, that is Opar and Ruth. And their dreams of having their own family got shattered when their husbands died. And somehow, I want to say somehow they felt like, um, okay, when, when they were still with their mother-in-law. And their mother-in-law decided to leave more and go back to Bethlehem. You know, naturally, they wanted to go with her. But when the mother-in-law said, please, don't come with me because I don't have anything for you. Your dreams of having a family or, or building your own family has been shattered. I don't have any more children I can give to you and that you get married to them. Even if I were to get pregnant today, would you wait for me to give birth to the, ch to the children and they grow up for you to marry them? Go and look for your life. Go and find your life. Go and find your life. And so Opa decided to go and find their life. It is the same thing. God began to minister to me that so many of us Christians, we find ourselves in this place. We find ourselves in this situation where maybe you are seeking God, you are serving God. And it gets to a point you feel like you are serving God and nothing is coming forth. It gets to a point you start thinking like I have been I have been serving the Lord for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Nothing is coming forth. Maybe I should go look for my life. Maybe I should try elsewhere. Maybe the path of God is not the path for me. Maybe I might, I, I might find it out there. I have met people in my Christian journey who were serving God. And it got to a point they felt like this path of God is not sure for them. They had better gone out there and look for their life. They felt like... Like God is taking too much time or maybe God is wasting their time. They had better gone out there and look for their lives. I have seen people like that who decided to abandon the way of Christ and to go out there to look for their lives. But guess what? Ruth told herself, I am not going anywhere. I have chosen this path. When I got married to my husband, I chose my path. And whatever comes with it, I am ready. Whatever comes with this path, I am ready to be in. He, she said to her mother-in-law, I am not going anywhere. Please don't send me away. I am going with you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you would be, I would be. Your people would be my people and your God will be my God. And God began to ask me, how many people are determined to stay on this path of God 
come what may. How many people are determined to be with me even if things do not work out right? How many people are determined to still follow in this path even if things do not work out right? That is what Ruth decided to do. She gave up herself. Hey, Makataya, the Bible says that, Jesus speaking, he says those who want to protect their lives, they are going to lose it. But those who want to, those who are ready to lose their lives for my sake, they are going to get it in abundance. When you decide, when you tell yourself, I am laying down my life on this part of God, I have decided to, to follow Jesus. I am not turning back. The Bible says he who puts his hands on the plow and keeps looking back is not worthy, is not deserving of the kingdom. He who puts his hands on the plow and is looking back is not deserving. So on this journey, you have to be resolute and determined. And you tell yourself, no turning back. I have decided to follow Christ. I have decided to follow Christ. I am not turning back. I am not whatsoever may come out of this. Whatsoever may come out of this journey, <clears throat> I have made up my mind. If God will bless me, I will be blessed. If God decides not to bless me, I will be the way I am. I am not turning back. I am not turning back. Ruth was so selfless. Ruth was so selfless. She, she, she told herself, I chose this path. I decided to get married into this family. Whatever happens, that, that has become my reality. I am not trading, I am not trading it. Yes, Opa decided to go look for her life. She did not do anything bad, but her story ended at the point where she went to look for her life. And Ruth decided to follow her mother-in-law. Even when she got okay, even when she got to the land of Bethlehem, she was all about her mother-in-law. All about her mother-in-law. Worked so hard just to provide for her mother-in-law. And God is asking, are you all about him? Yes, you have decided to choose this part. But are you all about his business? Are you all about the business of God? Is it God or nothing else? You look, you see, she decided to take care of her mother-in-law. She left her at home and she would go to the field and clean after weeds. I mean, and when I was reading it all over again, it's like it, it came to me as fresh information, fresh knowledge. When she went and she was, you know, harvesting, in the field, in the farm of Boaz. And Boaz noticed her and said, please don't, don't, don't harvest everything. Deliberately leave some so she can, you know, she can pick after, after you. And Boaz decided to give her to drink and give her to eat. She had so much to eat. She did not even, I mean, she was so concerned about her mother-in-law that she decided to keep some of the food for her mother-in-law. She decided to keep some of the food for her mother-in-law. That is being so mindful about the king's business. When you are in Christ, you're not just indifferent, waiting for the day who he will bless you. But you are so determined and concerned about the things that concern God. You are not just, you know, there are people who are just in Christ. They are just indifferent. They are just there. Waiting for the day God will bless them. And there are others who are intentional in serving God. Intentional in being about the business of God. Intentional. You are not just, you don't just go to church on Sunday. You do not just give your offering. You do not just pay your tithes. You do not just do what is required of you. No, but you are intentional about advancing the kingdom of God intentional. Ruth was intentional about her mother-in-law's well-being. Intentional. Intentional. Inten she did not care. She did not care. All she wanted was for her mother-in-law to be fine. All she wanted was for her mother-in-law to be fine. All she wanted for, was for her mother-in-law to be happy. And God was asking me, God was asking me, how many people are following me and are intentional about 
about my business. They are not just with me because they know I can bless them. They are not just with me because they want to make heaven, but they are intentional about spreading the good news. They are intentional about making sure the kingdom of God comes on earth. And now this is the good news, family. This is the good news. While Ruth was all about the mother-in-law's business, I got to a beautiful part. While Ruth was all about the mother-in-law's business, Ruth chapter 3 from verse 1, it says that, Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to Ruth, My daughter, Shall I not look for security and a home for you so that it may be well with you? This was Naomi's desire. This was now Naomi's decision. Ruth did not ask for anything. Naomi saw how much Ruth had served her and told herself, Am I going to just let you be like this? Will I not look for a security and a home for you? Will I just leave you like this? I have seen the way you are serving me. I have seen the way you are intentional about me. I have seen the way you are deliberate in ensuring that I am okay. Will I just leave you like this? Will I not look for security for you? Ah, kadaba baba shaya. Nena na mashataya. Now, this is the point where Boaz got in. This is the point. This is the point where Boaz got me. So God began to tell me, it is the same thing when you are seeking ye first the kingdom, when you are after my kingdom and 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 my righteousness. I begin to bring every other thing. I begin to add them to you. I begin to bring it to you. You do not. The things the Gentiles run after will begin to run after you. The things people are seeking after will begin to seek after you. When all you are concerned is about me and my kingdom, the, what people go after, I will begin to send them to you. Now, this is Naomi strategizing to get Ruth a husband. To get Ruth a husband. Ruth did not really care anymore she was all about naomi and guess what do you know who boaz was boaz was a very wealthy and influential man boaz was wealthy and influential boaz was not only wealthy and influential but boaz was a good man a good man have you heard about the blessing of the lord make it rich and adds no sorrow yes this is what came to come came to pass in the life of Ruth. The blessing of God that make it rich and adds no sorrow. It is possible to get married to a rich and influential man who is a fool. We see that in Nabal, Nabal in the book of uh, um, is it um, is it First Samuel or se is it First or Second Samuel? First Samuel. We see Nabal. Nabal was a rich fool. He was rich and influential, yet he was a fool, and he was not even kind. But this is Boaz. A very rich and influential man who is kind. We see his kindness in the way he treated Ruth, even though he was not really interested in Ruth, you know. He just saw a damsel in distress and decided to reach out to her. We see a kind man. God blessed Ruth with a wealthy, influential, and a kind man. When Ruth was going to Bethlehem, she was not going to get married. When Ruth was looking after her mother-in-law, she was not doing it to get a reward. But God decided to bless her. This is exactly what God is about to do. He says that he will give you more than you bargain for. He will give you more than you anticipated. He will give you more than you ever prayed for. He will give you more than you ever wished for. He will give you more than you ever asked for. As you are seeking after him, as you are seeking after him, seek ye first the kingdom. As you seek after the kingdom, as you seek, as your desire is for the heartbeat of God. He says that he will give you more than you ever imagined. 
Look at Ruth becoming the great, 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 great grandmother of Jesus. Look at Ruth. Somebody who had given up in, 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 in building a family for herself. Someone who had given up in being established in the home. This is her. Being the great grandmother of David. Being in the ancestry of Jesus. What more could she have asked for? What more could she have asked for? Beloved child of God, the Lord is sending me here today to minister to someone. And he says that the surest way, the surest way of getting everything you ever desire is by seeking his kingdom. What does it mean to seek ye first the kingdom? You are all about God's business. You are all about God's business. In your respective areas, it is different for each and every one of us. Ruth was selfless in serving her mother-in-law. That was her own domain. Yours might be different. Yours might be in sponsoring the work of God. Yours might be in taking, in looking after the, the homeless. And, and you know, do you, do, you, do you know Mother Teresa of Calcutta? Have you ever heard of Mother Teresa of Calcutta? Mother Teresa of Calcutta was a philanthropist. She was all about the homeless. She had so much money, but her, her wealth was not reflected on her. Her wealth was reflected on the people, on the homeless people that were around. The homeless people that were around her. The hungry, the, the needy, those were the people her wealth reflected. She did not care. Yours might be different. You might identify a cause. You know, it is beautiful to plant connection seeds and connect to prophetic prayers and, and connect to prophetic declarations. But it's also beautiful to sponsor a cause. It is beautiful. It is more beautiful to sponsor a cause. What do I mean? Identify a cause and pour out into it. Identify a cause and pour out into it. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you. Decide to stand behind someone until they become. It might be your local church assembly. Decide to stand be behind your pastor and support them until they become, until the vision God has given them reaches the nation. It might be someone you connect to online. The other day my father was preaching and he said, the thing is, the reason why people get frustrated is because they are everywhere. They are everywhere. You are everywhere. Planting $10, $5, $2, everywhere. And you feel exhausted financially. But yet, it, you have not, nobody can say that I am standing today because of this person. I am standing because of this person. Channel all your energy towards one person. Be selfless about it. God is going to bless you. Decide to chart a course. Yes, Kim. Decide to feed the hungry. Decide to look after the poor. Decide to sponsor the gospel. Decide to be a kingdom financier. Decide and be selfless about it. And be selfless. Be selfless about it. And you are going to see God coming after you so powerfully. It is God's responsibility to look out for you. It is God's responsibility to make sure that you do not lack. It is God's responsibility to make sure that nothing, you are in need of nothing. Look at this place. 
Ruth was just going about doing the, her things. Looking after her mother-in-law. And this is her mother-in-law saying, Then Naomi, her mother-in-law said to Ruth, My daughter, shall I not look for security and a home for you? So that it will be well with you. Shall I not, shall I not look for security and a home? That is God's responsibility towards you. That it is God's responsibility. He becomes responsible. It becomes responsible. It becomes God's responsibility to give you a husband. It becomes God's responsibility to prosper you financially. It becomes God's responsibility to, to make sure you are, you are okay. It becomes God's responsibility. It becomes God's responsibility. See ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. And when it is God's responsibility, he gives you the best. He gives you the best. Boaz is a representation of God's ability to bless you. Boaz is a representation of when God decides to give you a blessing himself. Not something you are running after. Not something that you are running after. When God decides to give you a blessing himself, he gives you a Boaz, someone that is kind, wealthy, influential, a good thing that comes with no sorrow, a blessing that comes with no sorrow attached to it. Oh, Banako I feel led to pray for someone under the sound of my voice. May God give you your Boaz in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that your Boaz will begin to come to you wherever you are. I don't know what Boaz means to you. I don't know what Boaz represents. The blessing of God that makes rich and adds no sorrow. I pray receive your Boaz in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your Boaz in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus. Mare kataya barana kosia elemene kotono mosi prahandaya. I pray for you. Receive your Boaz in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your Boaz. Re kadaba kosiana mendele kotalia rakanta lebo sukaya mandele kotana makaish. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus. Mare Kotaya. I said Boaz is not just representation of a husband. Boaz is not just a husband that God wants to give you. Boaz is a representation of a good thing. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no soul. Boaz in this case is the blessing of the Lord released to you. Boaz in this setup is the blessing of the Lord released to you. I pray for you. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus. When I was, when, when I began to read this, I, I felt so, I mean, Boaz is a representation of a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Boaz is a representation of a beautiful thing. Boaz was a kind man, kind-hearted, rich, influential. What more would a, would a woman want in a husband? Tell me, tell me, is there something more that Boaz could have been that he was not? Is there something more that you can wish in a husband that Boaz was not? Are you looking for someone that will care about you, that is kind towards you? Boaz was one. You know, you can be with someone who is rich and influential, but they are not kind. And so you're not going to enjoy of their riches. But someone who is kind, rich and influential, come on, what more can you want? Boaz is the representation of the blessings of God. Boaz is a representation of the blessings of God upon the life of a man. I pray for you. Receive your Boaz in the name of Jesus.
Receive your boas in the name of Jesus. Receive your boas in the mighty name of Jesus. Makata la basuni ana mashaya. Rika da 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 mashaya. Raka da 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 basota ya. Receive your boas in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your boas in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. I receive my boas today. I receive my boas today in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord that make it rich and adds no sorrow. I receive. I receive today in the name of Jesus. I receive today in the name of Jesus. Mare kodala bashataya. The blessing of the Lord that make it rich and adds no sorrow. It is coming more, more than you expected, more than you anticipated, more than you could ever imagine. God is bringing it your way in the mighty name of Jesus. God is bringing it your way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to give you an opportunity right now. If you are letting your spirit, you want to give an offering, you want to plant a seed, you want to just give a donation, whatever the case may be, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that. For some reason, my cash app is not working. I don't know what is happening. I've been, <clears throat> I've been, um, some people have been getting to me, telling me my, what my cash app is not working. So you might want to use PayPal or the live stream that is super chat and super sticker. You might want to use PayPal or the live stream that is super chat and super sticker. Cash app for some reason is not working right now, but we're going to um, just try the cash app if it's going to work, but I don't think so. Try. Just try the cash app. If Cash App is not working, you can use the live stream. You can use Super Chat and Super Sticker. All right. You can use Super Chat and Super Sticker. Just try that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me see. When the oceans rise and thunders roll, I will soar with you above the storms. Father, you are king over the Lord. I will be still and know you are God, Malada Bashaya. I will be still and know you. When the oceans rise and thunders roll, I will soar with you above the storms. Father, you are king over the floor, and I will be still and know you are God. And I will be still and know you, our God. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal. I pray that you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry. Those who are planting seeds, connecting to the prophetic prayers and to the prophetic words, on PayPal, God bless your seed in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless your offerings. God bless your donations in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, next week, we are going to be carrying out our back to school campaign next week. It has been delayed because we had we, ha we are having an ongoing issue right now in, um, 
in this side of the country where we are staying. So school, schools have been delayed. Mm. Schools have been delayed by two weeks. So for now, we are not having, um, classes are not going on, but um, it's going to start by next week. We are hopeful that classes will resume next week. And so next week, we are going to have our back to school campaign where we are going to be giving scholarships to over 40 students. The plan is to reach about 50 if, if we can. So yeah, God bless everyone that has, has donated to that. Even if you even if you have given just one dollar, whatever the case, God bless you. And we are going to keep you updated. I'll try to make sure I post it on um, the other channel. It has been down for a while because I don't have anyone that can help me do videos. But I'll try to get um, volunteers that I'll be working on for for the back to school so that I'll keep you guys updated with with um, what we're able to do so far. God bless you. God bless your super chat seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are believing God for, whatever you are collecting, may the Lord honor your giving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, family. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you so much. I'll see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Please, as you go, share the live broadcast. Touch the like button. Touch the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. Share the live broadcast. Be the reason why someone gets to connect with us. Someone gets to pray and um, get ministered to. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love you, family. I will see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Until then, have an amazing day. Have an amazing night. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.